Hello and welcome to the 44th annual Pet Games. What a beautiful day it is for our opening track and field event. That's right, the sun is shining and we have a race. Let's just hope the dogs can stay in their lanes this year. <laughs> I hear that, Brett. Okay, speaking of lanes, let's take a look at this year's contenders. Coming up in lane one, we have Emma, the mixed breed Bassett, representing the Ukraine. We heard a little pre-race chatter about a bad hind leg hamstring. We'll have to watch closely, see how she fares out of the gate. Coming up in lane two, representing Ireland, we have Whiskey the Multi-Poo. I've never understood the Multi-Poos, Jacob. Two breeds, such different sizes, it's still unclear to me how that works. Lane three, representing Nigeria, and a whole lot of muscle, we have Katie the Pitbull. She doesn't seem nervous at all, lying down and enjoying the breeze while the other contenders stretch and warm up. I'm told that's a pre race ritual she learned from her father. In lane four, representing the United States, we have last year's reigning champion, Chance the Mystery Dog. What a handsome dog. His victory last year was thrown into controversy over accusations of illegal blood doping. He defeated the accusations in court, and he has publicly stated this year that he's looking forward to reproving himself as a legitimate contender. Well, he certainly looks ready. Coming up in lane five, representing Canada, is Wiley the Sharpe Mix. It's unclear how she qualified for this year's race, as last year she took off in the wrong direction, right at the sound of the gun. <laughs> let's hope this year she has her bearings. <laughs> yes, let's hope. Uh-oh, look over there. It looks like we are having a little pre-race scuffle at the line. Yeah. yeah, you know, just it's a little healthy competition, a little healthy smack talk, nothing wrong with that. You know, it helps you get into the competitive spirit here. Well, they better hurry, because it looks like the race official is coming up to the line. And they're off. Run right away. Whiskey has a commanding lead, but wait, she's turned around. And it looks like Katie was the first to step under the line. That didn't look right. She looked like she didn't break the ribbon at all. Yes, it seemed like Chance was the dog who actually broke the ribbon, though he was clearly across the line after Katie. Yeah, we're going to have to wait on a, a judge's ruling for that one. I'm not sure of the rules. Uh, yes, yes. As you can see here, Katie slipped under the ribbon possibly violating the race rules. Well, if she violates the race rules, that would result in a disqualification. So we'll have to see what they say. Then you can see right here, as uh, you see Chance comes swimming through the line, gracefully breaking it as he crosses. That, I mean, that's a clear-cut finish of a race right there. Oh, and look here. It seems that the race officials are still chasing down Wiley the Husky. <laughs> yeah. And if we look at the replay, it looks like Wiley again took off in the absolute wrong direction right at the sound of the gun. It looks like it was that confusion that caused Whiskey to turn around at the last moment. Wow, it's an all-out melee out there, but it looks like the judges are returning with the results. Okay, yes, it looks like they are going to go ahead and give first place to Katie the Pitbull, and let's take another look at her controversial crossing of the finish line. Well, she may have slipped under, but she was certainly first. Well, this is a huge day for Nigeria. Congratulations both to Katie and Nigeria. So as we go to the winner's podium, it will be Katie the Pitbull coming in first. Chance the Wonder Dog coming in second. And despite her decision to turn around at the last moment, we have Whiskey with the bronze. And as always, we have the secondary competition to seeing who can stay on the winner's podium the longest. Oh, there goes Whiskey. And now Katie. And Chance is holding strong. And that's what makes him a wonder dog. All right, well, that's it for today's event. Uh, stay tuned to the Pet Collective for your comprehensive coverage from this year's Pet Games. From London, I'm Jacob Engelhoff. And I'm Brett Pagorgis. See you next time. Dun 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 dun